Hey guys, hey, what's up? Hey, G for T, Surviving Thrive TV, and I want to talk with you guys about relationships. Um, I know a lot of us are involved in relationships with non-truthers or people that are not awake, you know, and, and we've all gone through this process of, you know, researching online, talking with thousands of other people, and we've kind of w uh, awakened to a lot of um, inconsistencies in society and, um, you know, shrouds of information. And, you know, I think we've all woken up to the fact that, you know, our currency is manipulated, fiat currency, which is like the basis of everything. The police state, the military industrial complex, you know, the pharmaceutical industrial complex, you know, the marriage of corporations and our government, the lack of freedom, lack of uh, personal sovereignty. And <clears throat> a lot of the times our, our spouses or maybe our girlfriends, our pot potential girlfriends, are not going to be awake. And that's what this video is about. It's about addressing those issues with your loved ones and how how my experience with with working that out and now I've gotten to a point where I think um, I'm in a loving relationship I'm in a caring relationship especially the last month and I want to share with you guys some of the things I think I've learned and uh, got along with first of all um, the information itself can cause a problem because the first thing you want to do when you have the information is you want to go out there and you want to tell people about it you want to tell people about the corruption you want to tell people about how society is is you know there it's oppressive you want to talk about the police state you want to talk about different things than the news but I'm just telling you right now most people aren't ready to talk about it they're not ready to accept uh, the information that you want to talk about so I would recommend um, not to talk about it um, I found as you, um, when you're with your loved ones, if you just don't mention those things, uh, they're a lot more receptive to just being open to you and being friends with you. And sure, it's it's tough. There's a you know there's a large part part of yourself that you just have to reserve for your friends that are on the internet or other people that uh, are are understanding and have intimate knowledge of you know things like GMO foods and and. D different things. I mean, it's like when you have access to the internet, you have access to huge amounts of information that other people don't have, and in some ways, it makes it very hard to relate. So, what I'm saying is, if you want to relate to your girlfriend, you want to relate to your wife, you just don't talk about those things. So, what I've been doing that's been working is I just focus and I try to concentrate on what she's involved in. So a lot of times, you know, she'll be sitting down watching Oprah or Dr. Phil or Dr. Oz, and then there's a lot of inconsistencies or just wrong factual lies that they're saying. And instead of before, I used to say, oh, that's wrong, and I used to try to convince her. Now I just look at it, and I just kind of laugh to myself, and I just try to be understanding, and I don't say anything. And um, what I'm finding works for me is I just... I'm just quiet and I listen to her and I just ask her what she thinks and I just try to be understanding of her. I've been noticing that works really well. So, you know, normally I wouldn't even waste an hour of my time watching a show like that with her because it would just be so frustrating. So what I do now is I'm at the point where I can force myself to sit down, watch some mindless TV with her, but you know, on a sentimental level be understanding to her and ask her questions almost the same way you'd ask a child questions you know you that's probably the a aspect even though I'm sound really condescending I'm being totally honest if you have children or you interact with children a lot of times you're having to interact with them on a certain level and um, you just you, you're being loving to them you're 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 caring about them you're asking them about their day you're asking them about what their thoughts are, you're exploring their ideas with them, you're helping them. That's how you have to act with adults, and that's how you have to act with your significant other. You have to almost have that childlike um, interaction with them. And I've been noticing as I do that, as I call her and say, how did your morning go? Um, what's on your mind? What's on the schedule for today? You know, what are you focusing on? It, it, it is difficult because it does take a lot of time. But there are some rewards, and the rewards are that um, when you are, you know, intimate uh, with your significant other, it's very, very meaningful, and it's not uh, cheap. 
it's not um, you know and I know a lot of you guys are in relationships where you know maybe you're you're not you're not you don't have that dynamic and I'm just saying I'm not sure if it's worth it because I've only been doing it for a short time but there is an investment of time there is the, the cuddling the listening the focusing and it does take work but the payoff is you have an intimacy with that person that you normally wouldn't have by building these barriers so I don't know if this gives you any insight but I've been trying something the last few months and it's been working and what I do is I just take all that information I've learned on the internet and I just put it on the shelf and I just put it there and I don't let it you know interfere with my relationships and I just put it to the side I compartmentalize it and then I get into normal dad, normal husband, normal functioning, uh, kind of sheep <laughs> mentality. And I'm finding that's non-threatening to people. They don't, they don't, they're able to warm up to you. They're able to talk to you. And in some cases, now I'm going off to friendships. When you are that way with people, you would be surprised. Um, one of my buddies that you wouldn't even think was into that stuff, you know, he started talking about the Illuminati. He started talking about corporation involvement with our government. And I, and I just kind of was like a little bit like, wow, really cool. Well, tell me more. And um, th I, don't, I don't know if I'm being, um, you know, condescending or fake, but you kind of have to be that way if you want relationships. Because if you don't want, if you don't do that, you will be a very, very lonely individual. So what I'm saying is get out there, take all this information that you know and just put it on the shelf, compartmentalize it and really try to try to be interested in what your spouse's or girlfriend's daily activities are. Even if it's just, you know, she's worried about the next homework assignment or she's worried about the next job assignment. I mean, just try to act like you're interested and try to pretend and don't look fake because if you look fake they're gonna see it so what I do is I just I just I just say you know what all this time all this interest is just an investment in in the in the payoff and the payoff is intimate relationship loving long-term companionship so it's like anything it's uh, it takes work it takes dedication and I hope this helped you guys take care God bless